Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and for the next couple of videos, I'm gonna be focusing on the topic of performance in SolidWorks. So today, we're gonna talk about the difference between Control-Q and a standard rebuild, but be sure to check out these other videos as well because understanding all these topics will really help you to have the best possible experience in SolidWorks. Ow! So what is the difference between a standard rebuild and a control Q? Well, let's start out with a basic overview. Control and the letter B is the shortcut for a standard rebuild and only features in the tree which have been flagged as requiring a rebuild will be rebuilt if you use a standard rebuild. Now the caveat there is any child features of that feature will also be rebuilt uh, when you rebuild that feature. I'll illustrate this in just a moment. Control Q is the shortcut key for a forced rebuild and a forced rebuild will rebuild every single feature in the tree. We often refer to Control Q as the hammer because if anything weird happens in SolidWorks, a lot of times just pressing Control Q will resolve that issue. Now, let's take a look at how this works in practice. I'm gonna create a new fillet on this model with a radius of 10 millimeters on this edge right here. And I'm gonna create a second fillet here with a radius of 20 millimeters on this edge right here. You'll also notice that here on my features toolbar, I am not working with Instant 3D. Instant 3D is turned off, which means that I can double click on a feature to bring up its dimensions and double click on a dimension to change that dimension. So in this case, I'm changing the diameter of the peg from 35 millimeters to 25 millimeters. Now, when we examine the feature tree, we can see that that feature named peg has been flagged as requiring a rebuild. It has this little symbol over top of the feature. It kind of looks like a traffic light from England. So when we see that little rebuild indicator, that means that that feature has been flagged as requiring a rebuild. And that means if we do a standard rebuild, that feature will be rebuilt. And also this fillet here, fillet three, which is this fillet down at the bottom of the peg, well, that will also be rebuilt because that is a child feature of the peg. Now, the main plate will not be rebuilt and the fillet on the corner of the main plate will not be rebuilt because their geometry isn't changing and they do not have a parent-child relationship to peg. So what this means is if I come up to the top of the screen and I press rebuild, only the peg and fillet three will be rebuilt. I hit rebuild and only those two features are rebuilt. On the other hand, if I hold down the control key and I press the letter Q, this is a force rebuild. And when I do this, every single feature in the tree will be rebuilt. Now, in a simple model like this, the difference in the amount of time it takes is negligible. And so for me, for the most part, I just always use control Q for everything. But as the models get more and more complicated, you'll see that there is a noticeable difference between doing a standard rebuild and doing a control Q. So for example, let's take a look at the body of this bass guitar. Lots of features in this body, lots of surfacing being used to kind of scallop out these features. And if we were to roll around to the back side of this body, we can see that there's a pocket here for the electronics. Let's make a new feature on that pocket. Let's make a fillet here and we'll give this fillet a radius of 30 thou. Okay, that looks pretty good, uh, but maybe that fillet is just a little bit too small. So I'm gonna double click on that fillet feature. Let's double click here on this, this face of the fillet. And I'm gonna double click on its dimension and I'm gonna change that dimension to 45 thou. Now I'm gonna do a standard rebuild. I'm gonna come up to the top of the, the, the screen here and I'm just gonna choose the standard rebuild command and Okay, that rebuilt almost instantly, but maybe 45 is too big. I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna change it to 0 0.040. Now I'm gonna go to my keyboard and I'm gonna press Control Q. Wow, that's taken a while. And a while and okay. And it finished and it rebuilt out to 0 0.040. So in this case, when I do a control Q and I'm telling SolidWorks, I want to rebuild the entire feature tree of this bass guitar. Well, you know what? It's going to take a little while for that rebuild to take place. If I change that back to 0 0.030 and I just use a standard rebuild, well, that rebuilds almost immediately. So again, the difference here between a standard rebuild and a force rebuild is that a standard rebuild will only rebuild the features that have been flagged as requiring a rebuild. 
where a force rebuild will rebuild the entire tree. If the model has relatively simple geometry, you could just use Control-Q for everything because you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. But as the model gets more and more complicated, you might want to back off a little bit from Control-Q and switch over and start using the standard rebuild functionality. I hope that this helped to explain this feature. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this explanation. Did this help you to understand a little more about the difference between control Q and a standard rebuild? And of course, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to share this video with a fellow SolidWorks enthusiast. And I'll see everybody in the next episode of Power Moves.